Welcome to one of those, the show that explores the art of sneaker culture. I'm your host, Adam Butler. Thank you so much for joining me and welcome to episode four. Now, before we get started, you know, I got to let you know that the show is powered by the OMF Network. That's right. The On My Feet Network and the On My Feet app available on Android and iOS. I'm on there. It's for sneakerheads, by sneakerheads, the dopest social media network. If you're into the culture, join it. Okay, so this is the Nike SB Dunk Low Ray Gun Tie Dye Black. One of my favorite pairs. Um, I actually rock these a lot, man. They 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 stand out. They pop. I know they got weird colors in them, but I always find a way to make it work with a fit. And that's one of my favorite things about this pair of sneakers is that they have a bunch of personality. And I love when I rock them. And you know that you get that attention that every sneakerhead craves. Um, that's what I'm rocking today. That's today's heat check. Let me know what you got on feet in the comments below. All right, let's get to our guest of the weekend. It's a very special one for me this time. It's one of my best friends in the world and one of my collaborators. In fact, he's a co-producer on the What Are Those film, the one and only Paul Blackman Spam. Paul Blackman Spam, what's happening, my brother? Man, I'm cooling, bro. How are you? I'm good, man. I'm good. You know, I'm happy to have you on this one. When you think about sneaker culture, though, you know, and, and we talk about this just amongst ourselves all the time. When you think about sneaker culture, man, what, is, what does it mean to you? It goes beyond merely merely the shoes. Um, there's so many reasonings. Um, and it's funny because we touched in a lot of it uh, in the film and, and so many uh, of different people that we had, all the great people we had in the film um, touched on it, too. It, it's more than just like, you know, I guess for a novice, they would think you're spending your money on, on shoes and and uh, and this that, and the third, but uh, it's it, it's a form of, of protest. Mm -hmm. uh, it's it's a language between myself and other brothers and sisters of like mind of mm -hmm. all sorts of, uh, of 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 colors and cultures. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? So um, sneaker culture has had its uh, its evolutions and its ebbs and flows, but um, I think it's it's a it's a part of of a lifestyle. In my opinion, we created this film, you know, uh, worked hard on it, man. It was a pleasure working on this film with you. Uh, what, when you think about the what are those film, like what 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 attracted you to it? Why did you want to be part of it? Um, you know, certain things are so are so organic when when we're just around one another, when we're around other people, um, conversations that we have and then seeing certain things play out in real life. Right. Uh, we we. You and I, you know, obviously we've been doing this sneaker thing since high school. We can we can talk about all the way from the the you know skipping school early in the morning to to go wait in line for things. We can also tap into the the notions of violence and or perceived notions of violence. Uh -huh. You understand what I'm saying? We can also tap into you know having to you know be an an adult and explain yourself and why you like to purchase something. Uh -huh. So um the film was a, a, a beginning way for us to help explain so many things and so many of the conversations that we have. And even mm -hmm. talking about, and even and even educating certain people into the artistry of sneakers, into the actual element of design, into the mm -hmm. actual part that there are so many uh, people that, that, learn, that are like actual big name designers that come from sneaker culture. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So um, it was probably all of those elements and just the organic combos that we, that me and, and I, you and our peers have on a regular basis. Yeah. On a regular yeah. basis. When, when you, when you think about sneaker culture, the beautiful thing about it is that it expands further than just a certain community of people, you oh, know, yeah. in a certain country. Right. But I do think it's something special about being a sneaker head and, and, and part of the sneaker culture when you're from a city. Right. Yes. You know, you yes. know, we, we, people think about New York city, right. They think about, you know, um, certain urban environments, Talk mm -hmm. about DC too much though, which is where we're from. Tell yes, me about sir. being a sneaker head for Washington, DC, man. You know what's funny? I, I was talking to some of my friends the other day about uh about about dialect and how mm -hmm. uh how our tonation and phonation from where we're from it like actually exists. Like if you if you were to go to California and ask like someone, why do you say core or mm -hmm. you know, or, or pork or anything like that, they wouldn't yeah. know why. But they right. just do it yeah. the same way, like for us, you know, we Joe, Mo, yeah, yeah. and all those things, right? Yeah. So 
even for the for the sneaker culture, man, region, where you're from, it, it, it all plays a part. You know what I'm saying? Like uh, 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 up top, I guess New York. You know those guys are big uh, Air Force Ones, and I mean I know there's a uh, there's a I mean a full sneaker revolution. I know they wear J's and all those things, but there's certain things that are regional. So for yeah. us, man, um, New Balance, man. Yeah. Uh, I can tell you one thing, you know, the 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 phone posit was a staple. Yeah, man. A staple. A staple. Yeah, man. Yeah, so, man. Uh, I mean, I mean, you know, obviously you and I, you and I, we're 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 you know, Jordan, Jordan, Jordan fans. So mm-hmm. that that has a good uh, a good crux of our collection. But yeah. um, but being from this region, man, there's so many things, and and there are different things that went along with the fact that we have homegrown uh uh clothing brands. Yes. Yes. So, so the, the new yeah. balance always accented what have you jumps mm. you may be wearing, be it hobo, mm-hmm. be it sabiato, mm-hmm. be it, you know, be it madness, be it shooters, be it whatever. And yeah. even going into what we see from those things that have evolved into now, even what you're rocking right now, the, the yeah. and, yeah. and 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 different things of that nature, man. So uh I, I love repping, you know, being a sneakerhead from where we're from. It's like yeah. almost everything else. It's just unique, you know what I'm saying? And people yeah. tend to tend to tend to get a, a smidge of a copy on us, but we'll talk about that another time. Hey, look at here, man. Look here. Okay. <laughs> Kanye said it years ago that you know he yeah. got a lot of his swag from the DC area. You know, it's a beautiful thing just being a sneakerhead from a city because it just it just it has that kind of like urban tech kind of like survival yeah. feel you know what i mean like the sneaker yeah. is perfect for the urban environment you know what i mean and that's what yeah. that's what i think is so very dope bro before i let you go my brother and this will not be your last time on this show trust me well, i certainly i certainly hope not oh no nah, no nah. come on man come on man. they better get used to that face um before i yeah, let you yeah, go yeah. hey before i let you go bro um just let me you know get an audience any part words you want to just on, on your thoughts on the culture and um, um and where you see it's going um, I think that uh, f- for one, for the sneaker community, man, first off, let's just say this, Adam, and I'm sure there's something that, that, that we'll definitely talk on in the future. I'm very glad that that, that 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 first part of the Nike reselling thing was busted out um, for us true sneaker heads. Mm-hmm. So maybe, maybe some element of levity will be will come to things that um, can balance that thing that we are talking about, you know, the ebb and flow, the evolution of, of, of being a sneakerhead. So hopefully we can we can balance the part that that of this this part that has gotten really ugly the part of the you and I hate mm-hmm. and true people that like to cop sneakers and put on their feet to match their outfits to go with what whatever nostalgic vibe they're feeling mm-hmm. you understand what I'm saying like for, for, I'm I'm happy that that first part started so that hopefully we can get just back to being able to um put our money together and buy shoes sounds good to me. Yeah, you know, maybe, maybe. So uh, sounds good to me. I, I I would like that as well. Yeah, you know, you know, buy some sneakers. You know, that'd be cool. I'm happy. I'm yeah. happy about that part, man. Um, yeah. And prayerfully, um, you know, the further the further we go into having these these conversations, um, when we check down the the list, maybe you know we'll be having a different conversation and saying, man, I re- remember back at that turning point when Nike had the so and so. I'm really glad that happened because now we're able to do so and so. Absolutely, bro. I hope. Absolutely, bro. Well, it was a pleasure speaking with you, cuz. Um, oh, and we shall talk again. Most definitely, brother. Hey, man, great platform, man. Once once again, another, another, another banger, another bang up job out here, brother. It is, man. You know how we do. Always. Big shout out to Paul Spann for joining the show. Big shout out to you for watching and continuing to support this show. Thank you so very much. I appreciate you all, man. And until next week, ladies and gentlemen, please continue to be great. I'm up out of here.